Welcome back, guys. We got Cyrus and Pierce here on the panel. All right, guys, FAU football. We got a tough schedule going on. First two games at Nebraska, at Alabama. Then we got at Marshall, at Middle Tennessee. What are some of your thoughts about the schedule right now? Personally, I feel like we're going to start off 0-2 right from the get-go. Nebraska, as long as we can provide a good showing, um, we can take solace in the fact that we can, we can compete with the Big Ten team. I personally feel we have no shot at competing with Alabama and none. We just don't have the athletes to match mm -hmm. up with them, which brings us to week three um, at Tulsa or home against Tulsa, which is going to be a very pivotal game and make or break for our season because it's the first home game, so there's going to be a lot of build-up and a lot of excitement regardless of whether we start off 0-2 or if we're lucky to even manage to go 1-1 one one in that stretch. The excitement and the build-up for the game would be phenomenal. And being that it's Partridge's debut in front of the home fans, that's a must-win. If we lose that game, then I really feel like we can potentially go 5-7 and seven or 4-8, and eight, which would be a devastating blow to the season. But if we can win that game, then maybe, maybe Conference USA Championship, maybe. But it all depends on week three versus Tulsa. That, that's going to be a very critical game for the season. Yeah, I completely agree. I don't think Nebraska is even going to be that close. They have a very good quarterback um, there and a Heisman potential running back with Abdullah. He, he, he's, in my opinion, the second best running back in the country. I don't think we have the girth up front besides Coley to really contain him. And then Nebraska, they're not the best um, passing team, but they could do something, even though I think our secondary is going to be very good. It's just going to be a tough two games. And Alabama, I don't think we have a chance. I personally think they're going to win it all. Tulsa will make or break our season. Even if we win that game, I still see 8-4, and 7-5, and because Marshall, I think, goes undefeated. And uh, Middle Tennessee is always a toss-up. We always play them tough. So... I'm not going to go as far as potential conference champions, but we will be very close to up there, like second or third. But, I mean, you guys don't – we went last year 6-6, six and six, and with all the circumstances, I feel like this team's a lot better. Yes, that this Nebraska game, I personally feel like we can contend with them a little bit to make it a close game because our secondary is really that good. But in our offense with Jaquiz Johnson at the quarterback, getting another year under the system – um, the receivers look good with William Dukes and Lucky Whitehead, who's going to be a player to watch out for. I think we can contend, and I mean, if you look at the remain our remaining schedule, I mean, we got Tulsa, which I think we can win. It's a home game. We got Wyoming, and at Wyoming, that should be a win. The only game I feel like is really going to be hard is at Marshall, because Marshall's a very good team, but we barely lost to Marshall last year. Here. So I feel like we could easily go 9-3 and contend for the Conference USA Championship this year. So 9-3 and three would be phenomenal, but we have to also take into account that Co Coach Partridge has never necessarily been on the sidelines before. He's known as an ace recruiter, but we've never actually seen him game plan and do X's and O's. The first few games, we finally get to see that for ourselves, whether, he has the, he, whether he's going to be cut out as a head coach and not just someone who's great at bringing in talent but whether someone who can actually game plan and figure out the X's and O's between the games and make adjustments during the games to put FAU ahead. I think nine wins is a stretch. I definitely do not see nine wins on the schedule. Um, I do believe that we do have the talent, which is very interesting considering that if Polini, if he didn't mess up and we retained him on staff, this would definitely be, expectations would be soaring. But being that we have a new head coach, I think we've tempered him a bit and pretty much put the floor at seven wins, which I feel like FAU can definitely get with the schedule. So I see FAU going seven and five or eight and four. I, nine and three would be phenomenal for FAU today, considering where we've been in the last three years, where we've won one game and then four games. All right, I will say this. Coach Partridge, I feel like, won't have to do a whole lot early on because Brian Wright, he was still the head coach last year and went 4-0. and So he, know, he knows a little bit of what it takes to be a head coach. I'm actually shocked he even, he even stayed here because there were open jobs I thought he would take. But, hey, he stayed here. Thank you for staying. Um, yes, Quez, I think he'll be good, but I've said this all along. I like Greg. He has a better arm. I think he's a better fit for the offense in the future that I think Partridge will try to put in, a drop-back quarterback system. I just think Greg is overall just better quarterback and pocket presence, but Quez is just a, is just a better leader and the offense respects him. So I respect uh, Quez as, as a quarterback. But I mean, with Hankerson, 
the one bad thing is he makes too many mistakes. I mean, you even look at the spring game last year. He was inconsistent. I, I get what you're saying, Cyrus, at the same time, but talking to some of these players, I mean, they just love playing for Partridge, and I feel like yeah. loving your coach will get you that maybe one extra win that you need. So, And I think when it all boils down, the real competition right now in Conference USA with us is Marshall right now at the moment. Well, I would just like to say that as, all, as, the case, as is the case with all first-year head coaches, hope always springs eternal during fall, fall camp because there's a new guy and there's a new regime, so everyone believes. So I do like the fact – I really do like Coach Partridge. And even though the hire was very risky, I really feel like he will pan out. But with that being said, I really would like to see some X's and O's from Coach Partridge. I really think Brian Wright was great. And then not to mention we replaced a good part of our defensive line or, yeah, the defensive line in the front seven. Our secondary should be great. Mm -hmm. But this is a pass-happy league, and the reason why our secondary was that phenomenal was because we can get to the pass rush or the, to the quarterback. We had a great pass rush. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case this year. That's why mainly – I'm seeing seven wins on the schedule, at least seven wins, and no more than nine. But if things work out into our favor, who knows, maybe we can go 10-2. and two. Maybe, who knows, we can go 10-2. and 10-2 two. and two for the Owls, that would be amazing. The campus would be very vibrant, and for the first time, we may have a sellout at the stadium, which we would be very something to see. And, and also, there's one player on offense that no one's uh, brought up yet, except maybe Andrew Lucky. There's a reason no one's heard of him. He can't stay healthy. As in, he's had injury problems for his whole career. He's had a good career, but it could have been a lot better if he was able to stay healthy. So I, so if he's the number two, I kind of question that because he's not always available. Willie, he's he's looked good in camp. He really has. He, he and Quez are on the same page, which is perfect. But the thing is, I think we're going to go to, we're gonna stick with the run because we have a stable of running backs. We can... And uh, we have, I think we have six running backs who, who all can play and, and play very well on, in the system. All right. So week one prediction, predictions, who do you think? Nebraska, FAU? I think FAU will keep the game very, very close. Right now the spread is at 21, which I think is phenomenally high. I do not think Nebraska will, will cover that by any means. They're, they're not built to outscore opponents or put up points in flurry like an Oregon or an Oklahoma or an Oklahoma State. They're much more methodical and really slows the game down. Um, they have a new quarterback coming in and Tommy Armstrong Jr. who I really don't feel like has the passing or could pass the ball against our secondary. Um, true, they do have Amir Abdullah, all Big Ten first team running back, and he is going to be a problem for us to try to stop, and which is why I believe that we will not stop him. But I do think we can score points and move the ball. It just won't be enough because we don't have the big men up front. So I'd say Nebraska 30, FAU 17. I would be absolutely shocked if Nebraska covers the spread. I think they do cover. I, I don't think this team can will be able to score. Again, this is, their, this is their first home game too, so emotions there will be running high too. I think Abdullah kills us. 150 plus yards at least, and then if not, like two touchdowns. I think 28-7. Uh, All right. Well, I'm very op optimistic. I feel like FAU can get in Nebraska, especially with a young Nebraska team. I'm going to go final, but I think FAU won't win because it's going to be a tough time. But I'm going to go 28-24 Nebraska. Wow, that's really close. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's really close. Well, that's it. Join us next week.